If you want to enjoy the great outdoors during the coronavirus pandemic, you can, but there are some do's and don'ts. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espayat has the latest. Terry Laskowski enjoys the outdoors, even if it's just sitting outside Terry Riley Memorial Park in Pottsville. It's beautiful. Laskowski also goes on at least two walks a week with her daughter amid the COVID-19 pandemic. She says it's relieving for the both of them. I'm all about physical activity myself, so it just makes sense during this time frame to be able to get out and go for a walk at least. DCNR recognizes how restless families are and encourages all to venture out. The mental and physical health benefits of the outdoors are more critical now than ever. People are stressed, uh, people are home with families, need exercise. The department even opened trout season two weeks early, giving people another outlet. This stopped opening day crowds and allows people to get the fresh air they need while social distancing. Fishing is an inherently self-policing and ethical activity. We're asking people to use those same ethics and those same good behaviors um, and apply it to this situation. DCNR is asking people to avoid large crowds, wear a mask, and only go with people who live in the same household. If you are going to venture out, DCNR is recommending that you pick locations that are about 15 minutes away from home. Avoiding peak hours also helps. Well, if you find too many like people at a location, opt yeah. for another one. DCNR staff are encouraging people to utilize their own backyards and local parks so you can safely fight boredom and the spread of COVID-19. In Pottsville, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News. There are 6,000 parks across the Commonwealth.